Hello, and welcome to the Dundas Dashboard tutorial series. In this video, Effective Dashboards, I'm going to talk about knowing what you're building and who you're building it for before you begin. So, although the rest of this tutorial series is pointed at learning the software Dundas Dashboard, we want to start by taking a few minutes of your time and making sure how you're applying Dundas Dashboard is going to be successful from day one. So here are five tips, five high-level guiding principles that we follow when we develop dashboards internally. So first of all, treat your dashboard project like a development project. The software development lifecycle will apply. We want you to spend as much time on requirement gathering and design as you do development, verification and testing, and maintenance. So don't treat this like creating a spreadsheet. Treat this as you're creating a software product that's going to be used internally and externally and give it the respect it deserves with regard to having enough time to design it. And the role that our tool is going to play is primarily from development onwards. Take care of your requirements and design uh, on paper and with uh, other tools for design before you, you jump into our platform and start using it. Most importantly, in all of these points, is to start with your users, is make sure you understand who your stakeholders are and what their targets are and how they determine success. I don't want you to spend all this time learning our, our tool and get in and start building dashboards only to find out that they're not aligned with your, your company, or your organizational goals, or the goals of your clients, or, or whoever your stakeholders are. So involve them in the requirement definition process and use their feedback to create key performance indicators. So populate your dashboards only with data that's going to inform, support, and drive decisions. Don't let the, the available data dictate what goes on your dashboards. Uh, create a library of, of key performance indicators, of quantifiable measures that compare and, and demonstrate changes in a specific area. And look to create combinations of, of value by dimension, sales over time, calls per region, something like this where it's a measure split by a dimension. These are the things that are the bread and butter of dashboards. So again, uh, talk to your users, understand what their goals are, and then state their goals in a very specific way that are going to help you visualize them when you do jump into Dundas Dashboard. Next, build a wireframe. So we, when we write proposals for clients, we will typically include a phase where we are creating wireframes. It's a non-functional visual mock-up of a dashboard, and here's uh, a software that you can do it in, something like PowerPoint, or you can even use Dundas Dashboard, and here's an example of, of what a uh, wireframe might look like. So we want to give our users an idea of this is what the tool will look like when it is complete. Is this aligned to your goals? Does this look usable? Are the filters in the right place? Are these the right visualizations? Does this help you make the decisions you need to make. This is going to save you a lot of time in the long run and when you do open up the tool and learn it you'll know exactly where your efforts need to be focused. I need to learn how to link a filter to multiple tools. I need to learn how to create interactions on one chart that will change the appearance of another chart, uh, etc. So have, have a good idea of, of the visual fabric of your dashboard project before you even open up Dennis Dashboard and start developing. And lastly, have your data prepared before you, you design your dashboards. So it's not only understanding what your source is and where it lives and all of the uh, credentials that you need, you're going to access it, but things like the data refresh cycle and the structure and content of the data. And this is important because there are many places in the Dundas dashboard workflow where you can massage your data. Uh, you can do uh, custom aggregations and calculations, you can create advanced formulas, and if you wanted to get into analytics, there's a fairly sophisticated engine within Dundas dashboard that will allow you to do some uh, transformation. So it's important to understand if any of this will be required in your project. So know your data source, know where it lives, and know how it's structured so that when you do get into the development of Dundas Dashboard, you know where in the workflow you have to tackle data transformation. So that's, that's it. That's, that's five quick tips that we think will, will help make sure that your dashboard project is successful from day one. Uh, if you'd like to discuss this or any other topic in the Dundas training program, feel free to email us at training at dundas.com. And to look up any of the technical terms that I may have used in this presentation, you can visit our support site at support.dundas.com. Thank you.